What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla, and I don't usually do these software updates very much because te really I've been getting them kind of late, but I just got version 20, 20 something, 28.2. Now I just got the update, so let's see what's inside. I'm gonna hit the release notes. Before I do that, holy crap, we already have 4,000 miles on this car. That's crazy. One month, we do a lot of driving. In this update, it looks like the adaptive suspension dampening improvements are in this for the Raven car, because this, this is a Model X Raven edition, so this will have the new suspension system. So we're gonna go test that out at the end. And looks like we have chess. Part of one of the games in the arcade is chess. I'm gonna play chess and watch the computer beat me. I do know how to play, but I'm not very good. Now there's support for controllers for Beach Buggy Racing. I brought a controller with me, so we're gonna test that out. Media improvements, media volume improvements, I should say. It looks like when you open the door, it'll, it won't it will be so loud for people around. Dog mode improvements, because it looked like there was so the dog mode stuff, there were some issues before with dog mode not working when it was on, when people thought it was on and their dogs were in the car. Could have been some pretty bad things. I, I have to admit, I honestly, I don't pay attention to that usually, uh, those kind of things. I, I pay attention in the news to what affects me and some of the bigger things really. I don't leave my dogs in the car. Uh, my dogs are really big and they would destroy this car, so I don't leave them in here. Uh, so I kind of saw the title but i skipped over that so let's get into this and we'll do the adaptive suspension later but let's look at the video games first so i brought my xbox controller that is got a usb cord on it and we're going to plug this in before we launch the arcade mode that way it registers so let's go into beach buggy racing start and i didn't go into any settings so we're going to see what happens in case you're wondering, this is a wireless charger, magnetic wireless charger. It's kind of nice. I'll have a link in the description if, if you'd like to look at it. Let me move the camera a little bit. There's really nothing on the bottom. It's all on the top anyway. So let's go into settings and see if we can... Doesn't say anything there. Extras, power-ups, doesn't say anything. So let's just do one player. We'll just continue. Wonder if I can switch. So I'm not being able to switch with this. I should be able to do this, but um, we'll see if the controller works while in the game instead. The light's on, so maybe it's that's a good sign. So let's see if it works. See which one's the gas break, and we'll see. Oh, see, it's working here. So we can actually turn and drive with the controller. So this is A, B, so those are A's and B's, and then it looks like Y is the punching bag. Oh, cool. So you can control everything with this, um, but it looks like I just punched myself, really. I haven't really done much. So let's go. Do I have to, oh, you have a gas and a brake. So that's different. So it's not like the car where you don't have to use the gas pedal. This is actually gas pedal. If you don't do anything, you will not move. So you have a brake and you steer. See if you can see that. Let me get a light here so you can see. So you have this steers you and this is the brake or reverse and this one's the gas up here. You actually have a real controller now and honestly it's a little bit more fun with the steering wheel although um, I guess this would be easier in ludicrous mode if you are driving fast and you can use the brake and the accelerator a little bit better uh, let's see if there is if it's full-on gas or just a little bit yeah you can creep so the gas pedal, or I keep saying gas pedal, but the accelerator is touch sensitive. You can floor it. Same thing with the brake. And so pretty cool. And you can see down there that the arrows are turning and we can shoot, we can shoot our balls at people <laughs> or she can. 
Don't want to misgender her, but she can shoot her balls if she wants to. Anyway, the controller works. That's pretty cool. And let's move on because we are losing sunlight. So you can see what the chessboard looks like on here. All right, I am no good at chess, but we are going to play a risky game. Uh, let's see here. Oh, gosh. So I told you I'm no good at this. I played chess a little bit in uh, when I was in high school a little bit in study halls, but I haven't really played for a long time. So the next thing was the volume of the music. Now there's copyrighted music that I'm gonna be playing here. I'm only gonna play for a couple seconds. When you open the door, it's supposed to call, it's supposed to dim the music. So let's see if it does that. We'll see if there's any settings for this. Go into settings, balance. DJ standard, yeah. It's probably when it's really loud. Let's go to the next song so I don't get another Eminem song. Interesting. So let's turn it up. It did, it lowered it to three. So it went from, it was on level five, it went to level three when I opened the door. And let's turn it back on. It's at three and it went back up to five. That's pretty cool. So when you're talking to somebody, you open the door, it doesn't blast music. You don't have to turn it down. It's going to automatically come down a little bit. Awesome. We're going to skip over dog mode and let's go drive in the car a little bit and see if I can see a difference in the sport dampening. Let's go to suspension, see if there's anything different in this or if it's just software that they did. So it, they just still just have standard and sport. You can have it on once I put my foot on the brake, I can change it from high to low to very, uh, very low. I like it in sport dampening. That seems to be a nice comfort ride for me. Standard is a little too bouncy, uh, more like a Cadillac, uh, but it is nice and soft, so it is a little different. I'm gonna set up a GoPro and we're going to take this on the road. Ride comfort is improved for high speed driving, both standard and sport modes. Now, now I have, can I zoom? Oh, you can zoom. Did you know you can do zoom? Holy shnikes, Batman. Now, update suspension and sport dampening algorithms. Adapt better speed above 100, 100 miles per hour. Okay, we're not going to test that because we're not going to do 100 miles an hour. As always, drive responsibly, but 100 miles an hour in a 6,000 pound truck. We're going to go for a drive though. All right, it's a little dark, sunset already. We're going to go for a drive and see if we can notice the difference between the sport dampening. We'll hit the accelerator a couple times and see if it does, see if we notice a difference. Because I've driven this a little bit on the highway at higher speeds. One nice thing I noticed that Tesla did with this new Raven motor or with this new Raven car is the new suspension up front. You don't have that shutter like you had when you when you floored it with the other cars. The all the other cars have a slight. I, I, I want to say shutter, but it's 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 really the. I think the suspension system going nuts over the front end lifting off because these things have so much torque. This car doesn't have it anymore. It's a totally different suspension system, and I do have it in sport. Let's put it in standard and do the same thing. I'll floor it here. There's no shutter whatsoever like there is in the other cars. I got to drive a P90D uh, as a loaner car and I floored it and there was that shutter and it kind of danced a little bit. This doesn't dance. This is a sure-footed thing. Again, I do like it in the, in the sport. But let's try putting it on low suspension and see if it does it with the low suspension because you got more of a shutter when it was low. So we're gonna try it in low and then we're gonna try it in very low as well. Again, sorry it's dark, we just got the update. But right here, I'm gonna floor it. No shutter whatsoever, it just goes. Let's do it in very low. So I'm gonna slow down a little bit. We're on very low and then I'm gonna floor it now. Absolutely nothing again. The Tesla has fixed that shutter problem. They have fixed everything with the suspension. If you are hesitant to get a Model X because of that, don't worry about it anymore. Get the Raven, uh, get the Raven Model X or Model S. 
you'll be super happy. It's a, it's a wonderful car and it's better. It's way more efficient. We'll, we hit a supercharger and it'll tell us that we have 25% when we get there and we'll end up with 27, 28, sometimes 29%. We actually gets better than, we actually get better than what the car says it does. Now I know that was not high speed, but <laughs> now let's try it out in Ludicrous. Maybe Ludicrous will make it do that. Again, we're on Ludicrous. We'll put it down to low and we're in sport dampening. Green light. And that motorcycle had no chance. So I didn't feel a shudder at all that time again. It just took off in ludicrous on low and sport dampening. <laughs> Gave me a thumbs up. So I have to say, pretty good update. You know, the video games, you could take them or leave them. If you're a big chess player and you go to a lot of superchargers, then yes, that's a big thing. Uh, kids, kids are going to love the video game controller for beach buggy racing, plus the other games you can use the controller for. And it actually gives it a little bit better uh, driving experience. I mean, the steering wheel is fun, but I think if you're going to be doing ludicrous mode in the beach buggy racing, then you're going to want to use the controller because you're going to have a little bit more control. But there's always little things in updates that aren't, you know, aren't on the release notes. Let's see what else is in here that they didn't tell us about. Let's see if we can find some things. There's a couple things. This, again, this is the Raven. So it has the 3.0 computer, autopilot computer, and it has the updated MCU. It has all that kind of stuff. So I've noticed that this is not, the software isn't really written really well for 3.0 hardware yet i've noticed when i switch from my wife's car to or from my wife's side to my side her settings stay with mine so we're in low and ludicrous so let's switch over to karen's profile and see if that stays the same or if it goes back to sport like she was on the way home in standard mode again lighting is not that good tonight because we it is well nighttime let's go to karen and as the seats change, let's go to the suspension. We're still on low driving and we went to sport. So she might have been on low already. Interesting. Let's do this. Let's go to chill mode. That's really going to piss her off if I leave it there, but I won't I won't leave it there. Let's go back to my name. It switched to ludicrous. Nice. So this is awesome. They have fixed the issue on this unbelievable what did it do to the suspension kept it on low and sport i think she likes standard let's go back we have to change hers anyway nice perfect it switched hers to standard thank you tesla thank you let's get her back out of chill mode because she'll really flip if i don't and so she's got standard and on low i mean she's on the highway anyway and right away on the highway it goes on low anyway, so it's not a huge deal. That is actually wonderful news because that was a major problem. I would get in the car and sometimes the car would think uh, my key was actually Karen's key. Uh, for a while now, I had to reboot the computer a couple times or push on the steering wheel nipples a couple times because Karen would get in the car after I drove it and it would think it would still say Brian up there. It wouldn't switch over with the key. So very exciting. I thought they would wait till version 10 to do that. Awesome, Tesla, you guys are amazing. I still don't have this for the Model 3. Hopefully I get it tonight. We're supposed to get Model 3 profiles uh, for seating situations on the Model 3. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get it tonight so we can play with it. Hopefully it's not just the key cards because who uses the key cards, really? I mean. I guess some people do, but I definitely don't use the key cards. I don't even have it. I don't even know where my key card is. 28.2. Oh, that's when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Oh wait, no, that's something totally different. Anyway, stay awesome, stay positive, and have a great day.